Hello and welcome to episode 11 of English User TV. Welcome to this week's episode of English User TV. This week's episode is called Get That Job Special. Yes, indeed. This week's show is a special show uh, designed to help you get the job that you want. So, what's in this week's show? Well, of course, we have interview questions and answers. Expression of the week. Website of the week. Podcast of the week. And this week's to-do list, as usual. So we've got the expression of the week, the website of the week, the podcast of the week, and this week's special to-do list. And also, this week, you may our regular viewers may already have noticed that FES Training is now the sponsor of English User TV. FES spe- Training specialises in teaching English to both businesses and to private people. So, let's find out a little bit more of what FES Training can do for you. Okay, welcome back to our show. Uh Okay, we had a bit of a technical problem there. Anyway, welcome back to the show. And here we go. We're going to start off this week's uh, dialogues, as they would be called, with the interview question that you would be possibly uh, be asked. One of the most common interview questions that may come up in an English interview is the question, tell me about yourself. Now, tell me about yourself is a question designed for you to tell the interviewer exactly what it says, yourself, about you. This is not about your brother, your mother, your sister, or your father. This is about you. So, I put together a a short answer, just a quick answer, sort of the thing, the sort of thing that interviewers are looking for. So, let's have a look. Um, Well, I grew up in the county of Yorkshire in England and graduated from Leeds Metropolitan University with a law degree. Since graduating, I have worked in the hotel industry, I have sold cars, I have worked as a lawyer and for the last five years I have been teaching English in Korea. My hobbies include jogging and keeping fit, photography, web design and many podcasts. So there we go. Here's just one example of anything. This this one actually is mine. So I grew up in the county of Yorkshire in England and graduated from Leeds Metropolitan University with a law degree. Since graduating I've worked in the hotel industry, I have sold cars, I have worked as a lawyer, and for the last five years I have been teaching English in Korea. My hobbies include jogging and keeping fit, photography, web design, and many podcasts. So there you go. That's just a standard answer, really. Tell me about yourself. Now, you probably noticed I never mentioned anything about my parents, my sister, or my brother, of which I have more. Because an English interview really wants is designed to do two things. The first thing is to find out about you and the second thing is to find out just how good your English is. Now, even if your English isn't fantastic, 
just by answering the questions correctly and properly can give you um, can give you that opportunity to get that perfect job. So there you go. Let me just go through that again. So the interviewer would say, tell me about yourself. I grew up in the county of Yorkshire in England and graduated from Leeds Metropolitan University with a law degree. Since graduating, I've worked in the hotel industry, I've sold cars, I've worked as a lawyer, and for the last five years, I have been teaching English in Korea. My hobbies include jogging and keeping fit, photography, web design, and many podcasts. Okay, so there we go. That's the... the a way to answer that question. Let's just go and have a look at a little bit of vocabulary uh, associated with this. Okay, here we go. A little bit of vocabulary. Um, first of all, I grew up in and I was raised in. Both of them really mean the same thing. It's where you grew up, where you were when you were a teenager, where you were when you were before you were 12, 13. So I grew up in, well, I grew up in Yorkshire, in the city called Leeds. I was raised in Yorkshire. I was born and raised in Yorkshire. Uh, in my free time, I like to, blah, 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 blah. I like to take photographs. I like to watch movies. I like to read a book or my hobbies include. Now, just some tips here. Do not say too much about your family or friends. It's really not that important. And try to have three or four different hobbies to hand. But I will go through those in a little bit more detail shortly. But for now, the vocabulary that I really want you to be focusing on is I grew up in. So where did you grow up? Did you grow up in the city? Did you grow up in the, in the province, in the countryside? Where were you? Where did you grow up? Where were you raised? Same thing, same meaning. So, I grew up in Yorkshire. I was raised in Yorkshire. In my free time, I blah blah blah. In my hob my hobbies include da 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 da. Again, exactly the same meaning. Um, hobbies and in my free time in English, it kind of tells us what you like to do when you have when you're not working or when you're not studying. So, in my free time, I like to get take a rest. I like to go to sleep. In my hobbies include sleeping. Remember, in an English interview, you can bring in humour. Um, one of my favourite tricks is to say, and of course, I love to go out drinking with my friends on a weekend. There's nothing wrong in most countries about drinking. So if you like to go drinking, go dr tell them you like to go drinking. If you like to go sailing on a weekend, tell them to go sailing. If you like lazing in the sun on a weekend, tell them. Do not be afraid. Do not think that your hobbies are crucial. What the interviewer is looking for is a variety of hobbies, a variety of different hobbies. I would tell you, ask you, though, when you talk about your free time or your hobbies, try to include some kind of physical activity. Uh, physical activity is a very positive thing in an English interview. Okay, so there you go. Uh, just going to move on now to the next page, which just give you some warnings. So let's have a look at these. Okay, warning, warning, warning. Um, first tip, when asked about your hobbies or free time, don't give standard textbook answers. Listening to music, reading books and watching movies. You need to think differently. You really do need to think differently. So your hobbies or your free time, the standard textbook answers are listening to music, reading books and watching movies. Now, I personally often have to do English interviews and as soon as a student, a stu as soon as an applicant says listening to music, reading books and watching movies, I know their English is not good. It means they haven't thought about the interview very hard. Try to do something different. So if your hobbies really are listening to music, reading books and watching movies, Tell them the type of music, books and movies you like. For example, I like listening to Korean pop music. I like reading political 